Hey, welcome to this extra special silly little Christmas video. <laughs> welcome in, Jit. <laughs> Enjoy. Go to the boys. There we were. Look how we've grown. Now we can vote. Get to the boss. Now we are men. Put down your phone. Enjoy the show. Rubber baby buggy bumper. Rubber baby. Rubber baby buggy bumper. Rubber baby buggy bumper. Rubber baby buggy bumper. I what? wait. When I say when I say rubber, you say baby. Rubber. Baby. Rubber. Baby. Rubber. Baby. Rubber. Baby. Bub. Welcome into the podcast, hey, everybody. It's it Death to the Boys. It's Levi and Jake. Oh my gosh. We're back. We're here. For after a month long sabbatical. Yep. Right, Hiatus. Well, it was close Not to fun. two months, I think. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Well, I guess you got you did the episode. I did that all in the off season, yeah. Uh, with Max, an off season. <laughs> we didn't have you. We we, we had, the losers. We went. We had a long break. We're back now. Uh, we right. this is our special Christmas episode because it's just in time for Christmas. What? And we have Sonic with us. Say hi, Sonic. Say so, so, hey, what's up? So Sonic's Sonic's with having us. some fun behind uh, us. Saying <laughs> with Santa. And we got the hats. We got the hats. And so it's officially Christmas. You know what? Am it's right? it's not Christmas when we're recording this, which really dates this episode, but it's Christmas when you're seeing it. It's Christmas or not. If you're watching it in June next of, of 20, uh, 22? Yeah. 2022 is the next year. If you're watching it in June of 2022, it's still Christmas. Uh, and you know, it's always Christmas in July. That's Apparently to Mardell's standards. You know they thing. always be setting up Does those. Actually, yeah, they d I didn't know. I thought that was just like an office party thing, like oh. like a fun like dress up day. Your work, you know what I mean? Christmas in July. Or, Am I right? Was it Christmas in June? That was a AJR song. Never mind. Speaking of music, we've what? got <laughs> what a segue. No, that was clean. Uh, uh, speaking of music, we got our music selections our for Christmas. Christmas this month, they're all Christmas it's, songs. They're so good. They're all right. And Jake, do you want to start it off? I'm not proud of mine, but I'm proud of yours. Oh, because yeah. you're my friend, and I'm always proud of you. I'm proud of yours as well. I would. I didn't put a Sia song on there, and Sia's great. Yeah, that's true. I, you know, I used to listen to that album playing. Uh, multiplayer Hypixel on uh, the Java edition of Minecraft and I used to just have it on repeat. Wow. Hypixel? Hypixel. Not not uh, Mindplex or whatever the <laughs> I, <laughs> I did Mindplex but I didn't like it very much. Okay. Hypixel was my... Stop tier. I, I just had... It had Sky Wars, Bed Wars, Egg Wars. A lot of wars. A lot of wars. I never played that one. Uh, it also had like a lot of parkour stuff. Okay. Anyway. We're gonna do that all in an episode. Stay tuned. <laughs> Yo, good like Hypixel. I, I would be so excited to go to Hypixel. All right, I don't, I don't want to delay the real episode I'm too sorry. much. Go ahead. Okay, for my first song, I'm going for uh, Sia's Christmas album, uh, and the I think it's the first track is "Santa's Coming for Us" by my yeah. my Sia. Really good one. Really poppy and uh, enjoyable. Next, I have "Baby It's Cold Outside" with Barnes Courtney and uh, Lynn and Stella. So good. No, he, he is very good. It's just kind of a a, a well produced uh, version of that song. I think it's very cool. And last but not least, we have Oh No Well, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, let's just take that out. <clears throat> Next, I have Oh No Well by I don't know how, but they found me. Wait, what are, what are we there? taking out? Did you stutter or something? I stuttered. <laughs> okay. I was like, I thought I missed something. I was like, what did you say? <laughs> uh, it's off their Christmas EP. And uh, it's it's the only good song on that EP, oh. um, but it's fine because it made it on it made it on the Death of the Boys Volume One, which is where you can find it on Spotify. Make sure you look no that up. Other streaming service. Could. You know what? Screw Apple Music. We don't. We're, all my homies hate Apple Music. Uh, we don't want your sponsors, Apple. Get out of here. Whoa. What are you? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you from don't, Eden? I, what are you biting the apple? What are you? Uh, what a, a who, snake? Who ate you, Eve? That's what I. Women. Thought. Go ahead. Women. A uh, breaking news. Apple uh, is a supporter of women. Dang anyway. it. Uh, for. 
It's been a while. <laughs> Go ahead. Said I said a bad word. Bleep it. Go ahead, man. All right, for my three picks, I've got uh, Christmas wrapping. That's spelled like wrapping paper, not as not like spitting a sick verse on a freestyle beat. Uh, it is by the waitresses. It's a great song. It was in uh, Fred Claus, I believe, which is a really good Christmas movie. Yeah. I've got uh, Feliz Navidad. Oh, by I'm jealous. You got the Feliciano. Feliciano. It's probably yeah, probably close. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, everybody. I don't have to explain that one. And then we've got Baby, It's Cold Outside. Uh, the second time around on the playlist. Oh, so this is the first time we've ever had a, a double uh, double whammy of a song. And it's by Zoe Deschanel and Leon Redbone. Uh, and Leanne Redbone has a very weird, unique voice, and it's perfect for that song. I couldn't agree more. There we go. And with that in uh, mind... A great segue to the next part of the episode. We're going back to the regular podcast. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Have you seen that guy that has, like, the metal bowl? He's like, guys, check this out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's like... <laughs> <laughs> he's just like... Oh, he's so, like... <laughs> so happy about it. Anyway, that really dates this episode. Uh, well, it's already a dated reference at this point. That's true. With how fast TikTok is moving recently. This Remember how funny Byron was for a week? I was a big I, I was a big purveyor of that. I'm not like making fun of anybody. I I loved that meme. Bing bong. And with that in I mind, was thirsty. I said I was thirsty. So your mama gave me like kind of like. Good. God, we gotta get to the episode. I said I was thirsty, so your mama gave me a gallon of Henny to quench that, you heard? Alright, we can move on. <laughs> Thank you guys, we'll see you there. Right, we're gonna cut this out, right? Like, this part? Yeah. Man, we're... <laughs> we're already doing pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to <laughs> DTTB Boys, DTTB. featuring Levi McMoney and Jake, J, uh, Jake Sturgey. We didn't establish this. And Are you just all we, of a sudden? I thought we talked about this before. We all of a sudden you're just bringing in my nickname from the streets, the streets. Why all of a sudden you're bringing this up now? Hey, hey, Jit, don't play with me. Is that a bad word? <laughs> I thought it was just meant child or like young Shoot, person. we gotta look that up. Oh my gosh. Just wasting freaking <laughs> <Stop>. storage. <laughs> I'm looking up if what that means. <laughs> if blank. An inexperienced, foolhardy young man. Is it does it say like insensitive near it? Uh this is usually a tell. No, cause that guy on TikTok says jit all the time. And he's white. So we're uh, fine. Uh is jit offensive? Yeah, well, it's it's a derogatory term, but I don't think it's like a slur or anything. Yeah, you know no, it, I mean? it's it's like, it's like, like street. It's like a, something just a bad word in general. Like kids say or whatever. Uh, it's a, originally prison slang. It originated from the U.S. No uh, way. It's a, yeah, it's just anybody younger than you and that you see as stupid. You know what I mean? Hmm. Um, you can you can use that to me because I'm younger than you. And I'm oh yeah I forget and I'm relatively forget stupid you. no stop Jake don't talk bad on yourself okay My this bad. is the Christmas episode we're supposed to be it's merry supposed to be and jolly and happy BFP Holly and Bright and may all your Christmas up on the rooftop be reindeer pause no, comes no, no, good old Santa, Santa Claus. Claus. No, 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 no. Click, 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 click. Oh, down through the chimneys, Saint Nick, old Saint Nick. Old is Saint it, Nick. Is it older? I thought it was good Saint Nick. It's probably good. That's kind of mean to age him. Old Saint Wow. Look yeah. Geezer Fat Saint old Nick. gross Saint Nick. <laughs> Coming down your chimney. Like, more, like, uh, ge more like Saint Geezer. <laughs> Damn, is that derogatory? No, it just means old person. I mean, yeah, it's derogatory, but it's not... Again, it's not a like a <laughs> we'd get in trouble for saying it's okay. a geezer. It's just an old person. On Fox News the next day, like <laughs> two stupid podcasters with no subscribers <laughs> said jit and geezer in one <laughs> episode. Can that be our uh when we do do esports for Death of the Boys, can that be our like official name is the Yo, Jit Geezers? 
<laughs> what if what if we it's Dutch the boys is like our our uh, esports clan name, but like we are individually named Jit and Geezer. Jit and Geezer, dude. That sounds like a '70s sitcom, dude. That'd be kind. I mean, like, it'd be kind of sick. I'd be. I'd, be, I'd change. I, I will change my username to Geezer on everything right now. Same. Okay. But for, well, but for Jet, I think that's probably taken. Pro- yeah, that's true. What that's if I make Geezer's probably taken? What? I think Geezer's probably taken mm, if Jet is. Probably not on everything. Like Fortnite. I don't think anybody, any 12 year old kid is going <laughs> to. Geezer. Geezer. Mm, who I knows? Know. I don't know. Are we gonna, okay. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we gotta we've got to catch up because we have. it's been two months and we haven't seen each other. Oh, my God. The most has happened to you, so would you like to explain? The life? I gotta go first. Okay. Sure. So, I don't really... I don't know of anything crazy that happened in November. Oh, um... Yeah, that's true. Uh, I know you were sick. For right? a little well, bit. I guess we'll get into that. Yeah. But, um... I... I think it was November when I switched jobs, or was that before? I, I've switched jobs since I was last on the podcast. Oh, the I pharmacy from job? My pharmacy back to the coffee shop. Coffee shop's a lot better. I mm-hmm. like it more. Your wife works there. My, which we're going to get to that. Oh, what? Uh, just <laughs> what? Spoiler. <laughs> spoiler. Uh, yeah, so I've switched back to the coffee shop. Um, I, I don't know a ton of what has happened up until I was just stressed about uh, mm-hmm. the wedding, which whoa. is, whoa, boop, 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 I got married. There's a ring a on my man. finger. Right yeah, there. don't mess whoa, with him, ladies. Don't, with, don't even approach me or I'll ground kick you into ne- oh, roundhouse kick you in the next week. I said what I said, ladies. <laughs> Bro. I'm sorry. I mean, what do you mean by uh, that, man? I'm, I'm taken. Uh, I'm taken. I'm married. So married I got too. married on December 7th. I got married to my boss. Uh, <laughs> what a way to say it. Um, yeah, I know I got married, and it was really cool. Jake was there. He was one of my groomsmen. Oh, I was I was there. I wasn't the uh, best man. We even do a podcast together. Wasn't it? <laughs> no, it's fine. I, I get it. Like if I. No, it's fine. I didn't want to be one. Like if I made you best man and not Max, Max would freak out. And also, mm-hmm. if we think about it, it would make sense. Max has made everything in this happen. That is so true. I wouldn't have known you without Max, probably, or well, been I close mean, with you. At least. Yeah, I mean, but I'm saying, like, especially in me and Virginia's relationship specifically. Really? Like, well, I mean, any time we hung out at first was at Max's house. You know what I mean? Oh. And like, uh, that's fair. I, he, I don't know. He, he's guided all of it along. Really does. He's that guy. Anyway, yeah. If I have another wedding, you're gonna be best man. Don't worry. <laughs> Thanks, man. No. If I, if I ever get my vows renewed, I'll make, I'll make you like. Oh yeah, I forgot that's a thing. That is true. I, uh, Mr. Hill invited me to be there for his vow renewing Aww. in Japan. Whoa! And he was like, "You and Max and Jake can come," and I was like. No way, he said my name it's, last? It's in... <laughs> Why does everything have to be about you, Jake? Uh, no, Sorry. but he... Uh, apparently he's having it in, for his 50th, which is 20 years away. But if we're all still there, you know what I mean? That's going to be pretty It's hard cool. to say if we will. I don't know. Uh, that's pretty much all that's happened with me. Uh, yeah, marriage, uh, man, that's awesome. How is the life so far as a, as a husband and a... And a lover, and a, and a, and a, a, a new man, a refined man. Uh, it's pretty great. I feel mm-hmm. like, a, honestly, not much has changed in, like, me and Virginia's relationship. I don't feel like I, like, that made us any, like, super more closer or anything, but, I mean, it it's nice. It's nice, like, being in that, like, uh, state of commitment where you, like, are, you both have made that clear to each other that you're certain. Yeah. You know what I mean, which we- is... Till death do you part. Exactly. Yeah, as Fall Out Boy says. I can't move my I'm getting a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to compare my marriage to a Fall Out Boy song. <laughs> uh, but um, it's, no, that's it's great. nice. Uh, I will say that I do feel like a curmudgeon now. Uh, 
What? I don't know Why what that do means. Keep looking at me. I don't like know what that means. Saying <laughs> such bad words. It means like a grumpy old man. <laughs> a geezer. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a geezer. <laughs> Whoa. I do. Yeah. I oh, because of like. Well, I'm I'm married. You're and married. I'm like, doing like taxes and stuff and I'm like whatever yeah you know and I'm not like playing video games anymore that exactly much. yeah and I you're also, a hard smoker I'm a hard smoker <laughs> I smoke 16 packs a day uh, I also I have to take a shot of whiskey before going to the bathroom or else it just doesn't happen uh, <laughs> it's a natural little accident or whatever um, but I I've also grown to really dislike teenagers <laughs> <laughs> Not obviously excluding you and Max and Aaron, but like younger than eighteen, uh, eighteen and under. Honestly, just I just I don't like their attitude. <laughs> Man, get off! Whoa, my, get off, get off my lawn! <laughs> I just I don't know. Jit. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just I don't I I just don't like teenagers anymore. I don't know what it is. Is I, it just the immaturity that gets you? I mean, I guess. I don't know. Mm, there's just, but I just don't like the, I don't like their attitude, man. I've, I'll say it. I'll say it again. So what about Max's little brother, Sam? Is he just is he just not for and he's not Sam is a special case in more than one way. Ha! <laughs> uh, he did hit his head when he was younger. Yeah, that's true. I, I you know, I tolerate Sam. He's cool. No, he's cool. Uh, he's an exception. You know, he that man knows how to take a beating. I will say that. Yeah, not no, from it's, us necessarily, but <laughs> from Max. Straight up, no, it's um, he. He, uh, well, I mean, he doesn't listen to Kanye like all the stupid other jits do. He's got, he's got he good music taste. Doesn't. No, he's got great. He, he listens to. He listens to AJR. That's why you think he has good music. Yeah, taste. of course. Are you kidding Stop. me, dude? No, we were playing. Uh, we were playing Halo Infinite, and he was like, "Hey, you mind if I turn on a song?" <laughs> and he turned on the beginning of the end by Weezer from no. Van Weezer. Yeah. Your phone is not charging. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that right now. Is this, is it still recording? <laughs> yeah, no, it's still recording. I'm gonna I'm gonna Oh careful. I'm not gonna it's it's fine. Uh it's not charging. Here. Do hold on do this. Oh, that's cut. Underexposed. Cut. Hold on, we're good. Yep. What? How about now? There we go. I think we got it. I think we're good. Okay. Cool. Wait. We're good. We're good, baby. Whew. All right. That, that was scared a close me. call. Golly. 25 minutes. Hey, that's actually pretty good. 25 minutes. Uh, Shoot, uh, man. Well, so anyway. I, I, that's pretty much it for me. Like, I don't yeah. have that much going on. Okay. What you did. It? That was awesome, though. I it was did. fun. It was cool. And, you know, yeah. I, we I got... Uh, I recently just threw out all of the cheesecake because it was so much that was left over. And not, I, we everybody ate a lot of it. I had cheesecake instead of wedding cake. I tried to eat it. Cheesecake is good. I like it. I do too. I feel like it's did underrated. You like the, which one did you try? Because we had the marble and we had the chocolate the vanilla pecan. one. That was the marble. Okay, I tried that one. That was nice. it. Did you like it? I thought it was great. I had a. Uh, I had a couple restroom breaks after that. Oh really? You know, gallbladder is That's not true. there, but did you I enjoyed a, it. Did you eat a whole piece? No, I just like the, yeah, oh, like okay. the, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, oh, that was wow. fun. No, that was a that's a lot of sugar, like a, an incredible. Probably a lot amount. of fat too. Golly, man. Yeah, it's straight Can't cheese. Do that. Should have taken my lipo gold, not sponsored. If I get sponsored by lipo Dude, gold, if you got sponsored <laughs> by lipo gold, oh, imagine our, lipo, our lipo gold. Would be you were legitimately this is this is not even facetious a lifesaver. <laughs> so uh, sp- sponsor me, sponsor us. Death to the boys. We'll do you good. Probably start taking lipo gold. To be honest with you. I, th- I feel like it's probably just good for you in general. Yeah, it's my, not even like my whole family takes it. Thing. Yeah, it's just good to do it early. But if you want to, thanks. I, I know something that's happened with you uh, that well, I can relate to, that you that you and I are the same. Oh, yeah? Yes, we yes, indeed. Because now yep. we are both, one, two, three, gluten, gluten intolerant. intolerant. That's right. Yeah, up, baby. Master. Yeah, <laughs> baby. Oh, man, it's the best. Toast is no longer an option. You know what? Uh, Toast, pasta, pasta, anything that's good. You know, hel- uh, yeah, not I'd healthy, pasta. but just what? I had pasta, bro. I guess I'll see what happens tomorrow. You have quinoa. Well, it was yeah. Pasta? This, this was. Like, oh, that's fine. As long difference? as it's not a well, wheat-based pasta, you're fine. Okay, then it's not. Well, I'm good. Hey, we're good. All right. Anyway, no, it's fun, man. We we uh, we we share a very similar diet now. Aww. Um. 
goodness what else are we intolerant to i can't do fat i can't uh, do sugar very well i mean i'm having a, some trouble with those as well i can't do cinnamon right and i can't do i can't do uh some types of melons melons uh watermelon is fine i just don't really like it cantaloupe much. Cantaloupe is sometimes fine. Sometimes, uh, depending on how much I eat, I get a reaction. Honeydew, as much as I love it, it's good. It just, I don't know what happens, but like my whole face feels like it's tingling. Like it's, whoa. I don't know. Like I, I've been like, you know, when you lay on your arm and it like comes mm-hmm. back, yeah. my whole face feels like that. It's crazy. Interesting. I, I can't do some types of fruits either, especially ones with like a lot of seeds. Yeah. If I have like a smoothie, my tongue like dies really like it hurts and it's like i can feel like a pulse is in my it, tongue <laughs> is it like uh Sweet. what i what i get whenever i eat cinnamon where it's like uh i just feel like my tongue has been burned like really badly yeah pretty much it's it's just like yeah it, it sucks and it's so That's weird so that like i didn't know fruit would be like a natural uh like intolerant thing yeah but i guess it is yeah so it's very weird but uh, no, I don't know. That's that's pretty much the most interesting th- thing that's happened in my life. I'm out of school. I Yo. goodness, it was so rough. I couldn't do the podcast. <laughs> we both had a lot of things going on at the exact same time to where we that's couldn't true. actually. I like do I I couldn't do something with Max, and you couldn't do something with Max or anybody else. No, it would have been up to Aaron. <laughs> man, Aaron probably would have carried it. He probably would have. Oh for sure. Oh man, are you kidding me? Man, we should have got Aaron on this episode. That would been awesome. He, he was great last week. time. He what, dude? I listened to that episode back. He was amazing. No, he genuinely like he was like a good speaker. He just did not hold the mic very well. Yeah. And he was like, okay, so I'm getting the next. I'm getting the next prompt here. So what would you li- <laughs> like? No, yeah. it, but well, speech Max wise, has an right? issue with that as well. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> you always got to remind him to to do that. Uh, but goodness, no, I, we, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm done with all the stressful things so in my life, and so are you. You did school. Yeah. Uh, you did... Right, it's cool. You, you found out you were gluten intolerant. Yeah. Was there any other big thing that happened? You also got sick for a little bit. I'm not sure. They did. I got the... Uh, well, we can't say the word because we won't get sponsors, but we got oh, the... Uh, yeah, we can't say the, oh, wow. the C word. Um, but we got the... Um, we got the uh you, you, you got you the got, cold the you got sickness the, you got the the sickness we got the oh i was down with the sickness as the you kids were, say you know as the jits say it's down with the sickness i don't know if we should keep saying that i don't think it's a slur but i think it's that, oh yeah it's like messed up I think it, well i think it's just not our culture <laughs> to say it um no yeah i i got the, i got the sickness it was not i i Got it from Max, surprisingly. And he got it the oh. worst because he got pneumonia from yeah, it. Yeah, he got pneumonia. He was dying. And you know what? I had to miss the <laughs> the escape room that y'all did together and that you invited me to. And mm-hmm. I was fine. I was good. I didn't feel bad at Yeah, all. yeah. So sad you had to miss out on that. Oh, man. But no, that it's my life has been very, very mellow for the most part. Just kind of like low-key stressful, like in a very low way. And yeah. It's just kind of like underlying stress my yeah. cortisol spikes all the time and i don't know it nice but no I'm, I'm i'm doing all right now i can take a breather and so can you man you're you're uh, out of the yeah. out of the out of the woods the, with the marriage thing the last thing i have to do is i we're going to texas for christmas leaving tomorrow no uh good thing we're doing then, this yeah no that's why whenever you said today i was like yeah <laughs> yeah uh Bleep that Jake, my pad. We've been this saying is, this is what this is. <laughs> Thirty-two minutes in. It's fine. I edit the whole thing. The whole thing. I always do. Fine. Min- minute thirty-two. How about we? I can't write that down. Whatever. I don't know. It's fine. I'll remember. So, yeah, tomorrow. Big yeah, day. Yeah, tomorrow. Uh, I don't. I asked if there was any like weird traditions that I was supposed to be prepared for, and they didn't say anything specific. Um, right. Do you have any, do, does your family have any Christmas traditions that, like, not everybody would have? I mean, Hanukkah. We got, like, Hanukkah. Yeah, that's Hanukkah. true. It's very low-key, though. It's, like, one time we, like, acknowledge you don't, it. You don't do the whole eight days? No, I, <laughs> we're not very, like, in touch with, I don't Maybe think that I'm that sense. much Jewish. <laughs> you always talk about it, man. You make it so much of your personality. Why don't you? I said Jewish <laughs> once, and you guys are like, hey, what's up, Jew boy? Like, <laughs> Whoa! I did not say that. Yeah. That was not me. 
<laughs> I literally said it once, and <laughs> you guys Man. like exploded it. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, probably a decent part, maybe. Like I don't, I don't know the exact, but I know, I know I am. I, so. I, whenever, because I said something about Hanukkah, mm-hmm. and you were like, I celebrate Hanukkah. Yeah. And then now, whenever I'm like, please teach me about Hanukkah. Because you, since you celebrate it, right? Like, no, fuck me, I don't do Hanukkah. <laughs> the <laughs> Hanukkah. What? No, it's not. We don't. I don't do all eight days. I, I just more of an appreciation like day about. It. It's like yeah, it's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm yeah. I'm a, I'm a fake Jew. I'm a fake. <laughs> I fake you it. liar. <laughs> what a poser. No, but it's fine. Uh, I mean, you've got the Santa. That's life size. That's sitting in your living room. Yeah, that's no, kind I, of. I have uh, cranberry uh, sauce. Cra- dude, cranberry sauce cranberry every sauce. every dinner. It's pretty important to our family. Uh, every dinner in the month of December. Yeah, just the entire sauce. time, just freaking. <laughs> we have a jug sure. of it in the yeah, <laughs> whole jug in the fridge. We're just like, <laughs> honey, can you grab the cranberry sauce out of the out of the fridge? <laughs> That's good for audio listeners. I know. I'm trying to do that more. Like, when you say something, I have nothing to say. I'll just do sound effects. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> it works out. Uh, do you have any, like, do you do presents on Christmas? Or do you do it on uh, Christmas Eve? Because I know people who do it on Christmas Eve. Yeah, I do it. I do it both. Christmas Eve is, Christmas Eve, Eve is my other side of my family. And then the other side is Christmas oh, Day. Oh, I see. Because gotcha. it's annoying to do both on one day sense um but yeah um i'm pretty uh, i'm pretty uh vanilla when it comes to yeah. christmas it's not that fun okay but with christmas in mind am i right let's 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 get into today's activity we're 30 minutes in we might we, as well we are 30 minutes Ooh. well we're gonna cut some of that out it's a good point we're probably like like late 20 minutes in yeah so, yeah let's do it man what, what do you got in store for us you're the you're the phone boy on the phone you're boy. the one who I, looks well, up. i thought it would be fun if we did a little bit of a, a Christmas tier list, Christmas tier list, uh, with some of the some of the Christmas movies, some of the classics some of the that classics. we all all know and love, uh, and I I can look up a list and mm-hmm. we can go from that list, or we can just go off of what we like, like what our mm-hmm. favorite Christmas movies were. Well, you can do like a tier list, like tierlist.com. dot com. They always uh, do. A good one. Oh, I didn't know the tier list maker or whatever have to like have a program for that, honestly. Oh, I couldn't think of many. I don't watch Christmas movies very often. Okay. Uh, tier maker. Also, com. you can screen record this. We can put it on the episode if you want. Okay. So just say like one, two, three now and let me know when I put it up. All right. Give me one second. Levi is currently looking up a tier list for Christmas okay. movies. He's looking very handsome. Mm-hmm. He has a septum piercing. I don't know if you had that. Yeah, I don't think you had that. Oh, yeah, I got that too. I got that in November. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I got my I got my nose pierced. It's very cool. It's very and cool. I like it. They were like, "Hey, the worst part about this is going to be the clamp because they have to clamp it, and there's the clamp has an actual hole in it, so they can just put it through. They don't have to freehand mm-hmm. stabbing it through your nose." Uh, <sighs> and so, so I was bad. like, "Yeah, for sure. Like, of course, this is going to be the worst part. I'm not going to feel the needle." Mm-hmm. Uh, and they lied. the The needle is a very sharp uh, pain, and you can feel it, like pop. Which is uh, a very, like... That's the worst. Very uh, guttural image, like, yeah. feeling. But, no, they they were doing the clamp, and I was like, this isn't bad at all. <laughs> yeah, and then I, I literally, I cried for... It was probably a really wimp thing to do, but I, I cried for probably, like, five minutes. It was... God, that sucks. <laughs> very unfortunate. I cannot imagine. Uh, I don't know... Do we know? Do we have I, was, I was on Tear Maker. I'm on Tear Maker. Look up like Christmas movies. Oh, I didn't know you could just look up. Like, yeah, pre- look up. Oh, no, it's I'm sick. Sorry, I was not prepared for this at all. <laughs> we 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 just talked about it. It was an idea, uh, conceptualized Christmas movies as a baby. Okay, it's growing up. It's going to school. It's going to college. It's meeting friends. Meeting a girl. She might be into him. Maybe not. They go on one date. A lot of mixed signals. Well, well, okay. <laughs> and then they're like, I don't know about this. He goes home and like cries. She thinks everything's fine. He keeps crying. Is this a personal story? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So just let first me know when up, you start screen recording. I I've already started. No We're shoot, done. dude. No, I'd restart because I have to know when to like put it in when you say now, so it's like real time. 
three, two, one, now. Okay, cool. All right. We've Heck got, yeah. I've, there's some on here that I have not heard of. Okay. That that are, I think, newer, maybe. So, uh, what do we want to start off with? There, oh, there's a Could lot. just go down the line. Uh, let's start off with, with a good one. Uh, okay. Home Alone. Ooh. We've got we've got everything from uh, S to F. S so to F. S A B C D E F. I thought it was. Or A A B C D F. Sorry. Man, I don't like the kid. I don't like that. I, I honestly am not a big fan of the movie. Yeah, in the antagonists or whatever they are, the guys that like sneak into the house. Mm-hmm. I don't like how dumb they are, which I guess is the point of the movie. No, it's but it's like slapstick. Yeah, I guess yeah. I'm not. I don't like slapstick. I guess. Okay. Not so, where would you put it? Is it the think, worst Christmas movie? Or? No, I definitely know what I'm thinking of. Uh, I think, uh, maybe I'm like a solid a D. D. Okay. What do you think? Is that? Oh, I want. Oh. <laughs> I want to put the wrong thing. Bro. Oh. Bad. Decision. My right. Guys. Okay. All right. Uh, I've got. Okay. How do you feel about Christmas Story? That's the one with the leg lamp. I on. I, I don't I think I've seen I, that. Hold on. No, that was weird. This said low battery. It said low battery and at nine percent instead of ten percent. But it is still charging, so I'm not I'm just gonna let it go. Anyway. <laughs> Hold on. We're good. We're good. I, I think it well, I think it's because it's videoing. Yeah, no, it's probably taking a lot. Read this. Is it charging? Hold on. Yes, it is. Okay. This should be better. Alrighty. Um, uh, okay. So, I know I've seen Christmas Story. Yeah. I don't... And I know it's a huge cult classic, and I know, like, all of the leg... Like, you're going to shoot your eye out with that, and, like, all of that. Right. I have never... I never... I don't think I liked it whenever I watched it, and I, I've never looked back on it and been like, man, I really want to watch that again. I don't think I've... Oh, I don't remember watching it. It was not a memorable movie. Yeah, so I can't tell you if I liked it or not. To be honest, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in in the D category because I don't think it was terrible. Yeah, but I I definitely don't. Clearly, people like it, so I'm sure there's a reason. Uh, okay, we're gonna go to. Uh, it has Frozen on here. How how do you rank Frozen? <laughs> rank I'm Frozen. Kidding. I <laughs> I love it. Okay. Elsa's my favorite. tier. Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't like Hans. His twist was kind of weird. That's Him true. as a villain. Yeah. Didn't make much sense. What about the original uh, Claymation? Or not Claymation. Uh, just cartoon Frosty the Snowman. As a Christmas classic. I haven't seen it. Have you Have you seen it? Yes. Okay, you can gonna, rank it. You I'm can gonna, rank the ones I don't know. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it at a... I'm going <laughs> to... Well... I don't want to offend anybody. Okay. I'm gonna put it. No. You know I'm gonna put it at a at a at a at a at a. At a, at a <laughs> I'm gonna put it at a B. At a B. Because it, it's it's good. It's a classic. It's very nostalgic. But okay. Sure. It's not. Probably I will take your word for it. Uh, we've got. Next up, we have the the claymation Rudolph. You have to have seen yeah. that. Okay. Where would you put that? Like I can I can dig with that. Um. I mean, it's a little bit dated. Clearly, it's it's old. But I mean, like it's cute. It's nostalgic. It's got that f- Christmas feel that it's you kind of nice. need for a movie. Yeah. Uh, I would put it like a solid B. Okay. I think okay. I think it's a the, the classics are on on the same same row. I like it. Rudolph, yeah. We 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 uh, we f with him heavy. That is true. I dude, Rudolph, underdog. Really is truly. He had a had a very shiny nose. I heard. And if you ever saw it, he would even say it close. Yeah. But okay. all the other reindeer, uh, you still laugh and call them names. Sh- like what? Shut up. We've got the Lego, <laughs> we've got the Lego Star Wars holiday special. <laughs> How do you feel? What are you looking at right now? What is this tier list? This tier list. Oh my gosh. So I'm not going to go through all of these. Okay. We're not going through all of these. Uh, uh, how do you feel about, oh, Polar Express. That's a gosh. straight up F, dude. My I sister, Becca, loves that movie to death. And I think it's it scares the crap out of me. Like the animation is so weird. I just don't. I I don't. I don't remember having much of a plot line other than. It's a pretty good plot. But he. I. Okay, you can refresh then, my memory then. 
because he wakes up and there's a train. Yeah. He gets on the train. And then right. they do a big drift. I know that. Mm-hmm. And then they... they they to save drink. Christmas or something? I don't know. And then no. they, they drop him back off and yeah. he's like, Mom! And then the mom doesn't see the train. <laughs> they, they No, they pick up the kids so they can get a wish from Santa. And then, you know, their wish comes true or whatevs. But um, the anime... You know the theory, like the Uncanny Valley theory? My, my phone I'm talking about? It stopped recording. I don't it's know fine. Why. So Probably I'm just going to screenshot it at the end. And we're just gonna... Good call. You know the, the Uncanny Valley theory of like yeah. seeing the faces and it's like it's almost human like. That's mm-hmm. when I get watching it. It's like it's such a weird feeling and I can't. It was one of the first movies that weird. actually was like close enough to real life to have that effect. It's so weird. I was I couldn't. I, I for the sake of like I don't know how decent the plot was and the characters were cool. I'd put it like a C. But what do you said F? So well, I that was mostly a joke. I, okay. I think C's a good rating. Okay, I, I think it's a C for, it's a mid movie. It's a it's a more like Chris mid. Am I right? <laughs> uh, uh, C for Christmas. Yo. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Charlie Brown Christmas. I haven't seen it. It's all you, man. I'm gonna put it at an A because okay. it's a it's a perfect I, in my in my eyes it's like a perfect Christmas movie. Does it, does it have that song? The do, 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 do. I don't do, think so. It, it might it might have like a Christmassy like <laughs> version it to it. Okay. Revi- revive. Uh, Revise. Remaster. Remaster. Okay. Yeah. If you if you say you have not seen these, I am walking I out right now. I don't watch Christmas. Movie. Go ahead. At least one of them. You don't have to see all of them. Okay. The Santa Claus movies with Tim Allen. I saw the first... First one. I saw the first one. And it was fine. Why? What do you do during December? Shut up. What do you do during December? Oh, what... I don't know. I don't watch movies. I you don't I, even you don't watch Christmas movies. No, I nothing changes in December. I still just sit down and. Do you not like? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Bleep that. Your parents are watching. So, I, I've seen the first one. I know that one because he kills Santa and stuff. Yeah, and then he turns spoilers, into and then he's like. Has to figure out how to deliver all the presents. Without, like, his kids knowing or Without something. his kids know. Oh. And then his kid finds out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, no, that was cool. I, li- I liked him out on... What? <laughs> you know, from, from Home Improvement. <laughs> 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 Whatever. Uh, so... Okay. Yeah. Wait, how will you remember it? Where would you put it? Um, I would put it at a, a B. Oh. I like Jack Frost. B? B? Yeah. You like Jack Frost? He's cool. That was the third one. <laughs> Was he, was he not in that one? I thought he was like a villain. Jack Frost? He's the villain in the third one. Yeah. Why do I remember that? Because <laughs> he, he kills... Uh, well, he takes the title away from Santa Claus. And he becomes Santa Claus. And then Santa Claus has to take the title away from him. Okay, so I saw the first and the third then. Did you like the first one where he kills Santa Claus? Like, and yes. A okay. Kid, no, I like, do like that one. He's like, oh, we got to go to Denny's for dinner. You know what I mean? <laughs> Remember that? I don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm I'm putting the first Santa Claus. Okay, we can uh, skip on, the others. I'm I'm do. Uh, okay. I'm putting the first Santa Claus on A tier. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I think it's a very good movie. What about the third? Oh one? shoot, my feet are what? My bad. Wait, uh, bro. <laughs> You'll pause. I'm gonna make the entry on WikiFeed. I'm gonna Snapchat and Snapshot <laughs> that and put it on WikiFeed. Please. Uh, have you ever seen Christmas with the Cranks? <laughs> no. Okay, well, yeah, if I'm making all the decisions here, I'm just gonna put that. <laughs> More here. like Christmas with the Geezers. Why, why Why? did we decide to do this if you haven't watched a single Christmas <laughs> I know movie? I have! I just didn't, not these. How the, the original cartoon, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Oh, shoot! That one's fire! I've never seen it. <laughs> just kidding, I've seen it. It's good. Um... Put it at a, yeah, but keep festive, bro. What are you doing, man? This, this man, this jit's embarrassing. <laughs> Shut up, jit. <laughs> um, I put it at like like a solid B. B? I, again, it's like the plot's fine, but also it's like the it, you get that festive feeling when you listen yeah. to when you watch and stuff. Uh, okay. 
Iron Man three is on here. I don't remember that. Oh movie. yeah, because he goes to like the Christmas town and it's all like uh, snowy and stuff. That's that's a good movie though. <laughs> I that love is a good movie. I love Iron Man three. Makes uh, him a very real character. Have you seen National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation? I have not. I'm thinking about just ending the tier list. We can just talk about stuff. What if I pick some? What if I pick someone I know, and you'll probably know it since you're so well versed in the Christmas I, catalog? Because I enjoy the season. Okay, sir. Sorry. I enjoy watching a good, jolly, merry Christmas movie. I'm putting Christmas Vacation on an S tier. Okay, I, I can I can pick some. Be more interesting. You, gotta, you just gotta swipe right there, and then you just drag them. And then yeah, you drag them. Okay. You can, uh, you can't swipe from here. You have to. Swipe Ooh, okay, wipe. gotcha. Okay, let's get some ones that I kind of know. I'm ready. Uh, it's a Wonderful Life. Uh, you, have you ever seen that one? I I have seen it. I get that confused with. Uh, that's the one where he wishes he was never born. Right, right. and then he gets like the weird ghost guy, and, like feel like, oh, you're cool, you're would, awesome. You know, I would put that up probably. I don't know because here's the thing. It is very obviously it's very dated. I right. it's very slow as as far as I remember because it was a while back. Yeah, kind of. Um, but you know the story of it's really good. The characters are pretty good. Mm -hmm. Plot line is no, I mean one of the, like the foundational plot lines. It's beautiful, was, yeah. It's the one Christmas movie that made me cry. Really? Because it's just so you know heartfelt that he's like you know what I want to live, and then I, he comes home for Christmas. I would say anywhere between F. No. I would say anywhere between... Uh, I would say A or B. And then you can you can decide between those. Because it seems like you have more of a... I'll put it in A. Okay. Because it had an emotional factor for me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A Christmas Carol. The, uh, the remastered one where it's like uh, hyper-realistic or whatever. <laughs> oh. Do you remember what? that one? It's the second one. Or that one where it's like very like I don't weird think, animation. I think my parents didn't let me watch that one. Okay, to be honest, uh, you can still. So I've I've done a whole bunch of ones that you haven't seen. It's true. Christmas. Uh, I don't like it. And I'll put a C. Okay. All right. Um. Oh, here we go. This is big. Elf. This is, is this going to be I, S. This is S for me. I genuinely love it a lot. Okay. I I'm debating between S and A mm -hmm. because I. Don't get me wrong. I watch it multiple times every year. And sometimes I watch it in June. Right? Christmas in June. The thing is, I love the beginning of the movie. And I love when he's going around New York and he's like... Doing yeah. Stupid stuff for just a montage of our, you know... World's best but, coffee. It, and exactly. <laughs> and when he's like going in the mall and like messing all the stuff up. And then yeah. he has a fight with the mall Santa and stuff like that. That's fantastic. Funny stuff. Whenever it gets to the the portion where he has to help Santa fix the what the the, the engine, sleigh. On everyone has to like believe or whatever. I re it lost all of its appeal, okay. and it does the I it does it every time because the only part I remember is the fun part. Uh, but S, I agree on S. I think that okay overall the beginning makes up for the end being too like. It takes itself. It takes itself too seriously. It's true. It's a movie with Will Ferrell. <laughs> yeah, but uh, like, you check the battery real quick. I put it on S. Oh, it's at seventeen. We're going up. Holy crap! Okay. Uh, yeah, I put it S. That's good okay. stuff. All right. So let me just skip a little bit. Frozen. What would you think? Because I. It's kind of mid. I want to be honest. <laughs> with you. It's it's like it's not great, but it's not terrible. Like I. Okay. I, I saw it in theaters twice. But not by Same. my own choice, but I saw it once by my own choice. I saw it another time with my brother's ex-wife. Just her? Uh, he was going to be there, but he was late. So. Well, how did that yeah. go? Did you did you bag her? No. Well, <laughs> they were like married. So. So where are you putting it? Uh <laughs> I was going to say not my brother's ex-wife, but <laughs> you know, uh, I don't know. For Frozen, I'd say C. My bad, bro. I'd say C. Sounds good. Put it with uh, C with Crisps Carol and Polar Express. I love how Polar Express is in C. That's amazing. 
Uh, Would you rather put it somewhere else? No, I agree with those so far. Uh, ooh, I love this one. The Grinch, the, the remastered one. The one with Jim Carrey? Yeah. Uh, I, I love was, that one. I was meaning to watch it this year. And I it? don't... No, I, I've seen it before. Oh, okay. I just don't remember much of it. That one's uh, good. I would say, from what I remember, I'm going to do probably A, a or B. A or B? A or B? Uh, um, bah. Yeah, I'd probably put it... I'd probably put it in a solid... Oh, I'm going to put it in a solid B. Okay. I'm going to solid B. I Is think it's that, okay. I think it's a little bit slow. I think it could be <laughs> a little bit more... The only thing that even puts it a B is uh, his gym. Jim himself. He's just a funny guy. I don't really like the other characters other than the mayor. I actually really like He's the mayor. He's funny. He's cool. The, yeah, the only, mo- most of the plot he cared for was when he was like in his house and he was just yeah. talking about how lonely he is. And it was just, yeah. I thought that was like the pretty much the highlight of the movie. Um, So weird thing about this is that there are like duplicates. Yeah, I noticed. Them. So I'm going to try. We might not have too many more to... <laughs> okay, so hear me out. Narnia? Did, did you F with Narnia? Honest, I liked the books. I didn't like the movies. I I, I was very bored. What, what do you think? Where do you want to put it? No, what, what? You're not saying any of your opinion. I'm just like... this. I'm sorry, bleep that. Bleep I'm, I'm dogging on these movies. And Stop. That's explicit. No one, it's fine. <laughs> no one watches this. It's fine. Who cares? It's not true. Dude, last time we got like 40 views on one. Really? Yeah, the last oh. one we did. Wait, Little have you not been Max? looking? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well, he gets more views than me, usually. That's true. But... Anyway. <laughs> I like Narnia. I like the... I liked them both. I thought they kind of... It did the books justice in a lot of ways, but... We can put it at like a C. Okay. Uh, yeah, I agree. I don't think it's terrible. I like it. All right. Oh, this is this is kind of a blend of... of different occasions uh nightmare for christmas uh dude i really like that movie i like that one too i uh, i would say probably a, probably do an a for me probably say an a yeah it's not a perfect movie by any it, any means but it's really good it's one of the tim burton movies i actually can like be okay with the animation because usually like i don't enjoy his animation did you ever this is not Christmassy. did you ever watch Coraline? i, did. I don't know if that's a tim burton movie is it yeah I really it's, enjoyed it. I like the plot. Just the animation's so didn't annoying. Like the to me. animation? No, I just can't get I with it. I thought it was cool because it was like there were some portions of it that were like sixty frames a second. I thought that was yeah. really cool. No, it was. It's a good one. I'm trying to get that through the stupid duplicates. Like it's the crappiest serialism I've ever seen. Star Wars. Star Wars. Uh, S. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sounds good. I never watched. I watched the original six and then Rogue One, and that was pretty much it for me. That's fair. Um, that's looks like it's it that we've kind of blasted through this. That looks. What about, uh, what about okay? Do you have Christmas movies that you watch other than these? You think I watch Christmas movies if I didn't know? <laughs> Uh, what is that one where it's like Four Christmases with uh, Vince Vaughn or whatever? You ever watched that one? Uh, I don't remember what it's called. It's called Four Christmases. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, no, I don't think I've seen it. He uh, he goes to like a bunch of like his family's houses because he has like so many families or whatever. Yeah. And he has to like, go through all of them like with his like new wife or something. And he's like, oh my god, it's a new wife. And so it's like super stressful or something. I see. Anyway, that's what I watch. I you like that what? one. I, I have a movie that I think you would like, a Christmas movie. Okay. If you would watch it and let me know how you like it, that would make me really happy. But if you don't like Christmas movies, then, you know, it's fine. Um, Surviving Christmas uh, with Ben Affleck. <laughs> no way. It's incredible. It's about the, he's a super rich, like, billionaire, <laughs> but uh, his girlfriend doesn't, like, leaves him right before Christmas. Uh, because he doesn't want to spend it with her family. And so he pays this family to be his family for like three days while he's going through Christmas. So he's not alone. It is, I, I at this point, my favorite Christmas movie. It's amazing. It's so, so you'd funny. rank it as S tier? That would be tier Christmas movie. It's a, just an enjoyable movie all around. Yeah, no, I've never seen it. I, I'm trying to think. Do you, have you seen Die Hard? Oh yeah, of course. I've never seen it. 
Everyone debates <laughs> like if it's a Christmas movie or not. Do you, are you on the on the on the Christmas movie side? Wh- whether things? it's a Christmas movie necessarily, I don't really think so. But I watch it every Christmas because it is like it, it's an action movie, but it's set in it's set at Christmas time, and he's in this office building that's having a Christmas party. So all of the like. Mm-hmm. Environment is Christmassy and everything. Doesn't he have like a Christmas like moment or something where like he's like with a uh, family or whatever and people are opening presents and stuff or something? Uh, not really. He has like, a he has like a. I'm not sure if they're technically divorced, but they're like kind of going through tough times. Married couple, mm-hmm. and so he like has a little like thing with her in the beginning where he's like hey i've come to see you for christmas or whatever mm-hmm. yeah. uh, and then there's the whole action movie part <laughs> there is a there is a point where he says like jingle bells or something and <laughs> jingle balls <laughs> <laughs> jingle my balls <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, I don't. well what constitutes a christmas movie like what's the what's like the criteria I mean, I no. you know? what does it have to be about christmas or does it just i know like at christmas time? just like snow <laughs> you know have you ever seen jingle all the way no with arnold schwarzenegger, with arnold schwarzenegger. no i have not seen that it's yet so good <laughs> so everybody's like put the cookie down <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah okay i haven't seen it no he, uh <laughs> there's a lot of good moments in that movie. i would love to see that one i love arnold he's he's a fantastic man a, he's <laughs> the worst actor <laughs> like the worst choice for that role Oh my god! The only reason that they picked him is because he was like popular and he was also like muscular, and that played well for the character. Right, and that's fair. Well, I'll have to watch uh, those three Christmas movies. Christmas with the Cranks is also really good. It's about. Do we, we rank that one? I don't think we did. Uh, you, well, you I, think I, I think I did. I think I put it at B, maybe. Oh, here you go. Thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> man, <laughs> am I right? This is a good one. Uh. Christmas with the Cranks is this family their child has moved out and so they're it's their first like empty nest Christmas and they decide to not do Christmas and they decide to go on a cruise instead of doing Christmas and their whole neighborhood is like yo what the hell you know what I mean like you're doing Christmas oh, and it's a whole cool. movie about like their neighbors trying to convince them to do Christmas hmm. fantastic movie okay it's with Tim Allen and <laughs> exactly and Whoa! He does a typical Tim Allen character. <laughs> it's also with that one. I don't know what his name is. He's the big dude. He looks like the pilot from Wally. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no. The the pilot of the spaceship. That's like. Huge. No, I know that. I don't know which actor uh, you're talking about. Hold on. You you're gonna you're gonna see it. I'll put a picture. Put a, put put a picture. Of put him up a picture of Wally. Beep boop boop. Uh, <laughs> Eva. <laughs> Remember that time that uh, Max inhaled <laughs> the helium and <laughs> said that? Dan Aykroyd. What does he look like? Put up Dan. <laughs> Put him up. There he is. There's a looks, picture of that like guy. Pilot from. Yeah, no, Wally. I see the resemblance. I think he might have actually done the voice for. Probably. He was in Ghostbusters, The Blues Brothers, uh. The Penis Boys. Tommy, it was in Tommy Boy. I wait. Uh, what? He was in. No, I love Tommy Boy. Indiana Jones. He was in Yogi Bear. Fifty First Dates. Wow. Just, his catalog keeps getting better. <laughs> uh, he was in the yeah. second Zombie Land. <laughs> anyway. He was in Pixels. <laughs> keeps getting better. <laughs> Most of these are, <laughs> are Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler movies. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Well, I'll so you've got your recommendations. Have to put uh, that on the list. If you don't watch them, and we have another podcast, and I ask you about them, then everybody who watches this episode is going to be like, "Yo, Jake, what a poser!" Yeah, what a poser! You didn't watch the Christmas movies. All right. Do you want your fans to be rallied against you? I didn't think so. <laughs> Fine. Well, you know what? We're at an hour, Buster. You want to pull up the Mad Lib? Oh my god. <laughs> This As a special Christmas surprise. What? Wow. Merry Christmas, everybody. You we- kidding me? <laughs> Shoot, baby. We're doing a Christmas Mad Lib. We're like Jimmy Fallon, but less 
more Jimmy less Fallon. He does that. He does that. He does Christmas Mad Libs. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, like Jimmy Fallon, this but a, funnier. This is that's true. <laughs> it's really easy Merry to be funnier. Merry Christmas than... Mad Libs, dear Santa. Oh, that's the name of it. All right, it's a letter to Santa. Do you want to do it, and I'll I... do the words? Yeah, that's okay. what I'm planning on doing. Sounds good. Uh, okay, <sighs> I'm ready. Hit me with it. Okay, I need an adjective. <sighs> uh, uh, pink. Okay. <laughs> and tucked. <laughs> Put that in. Uh, man, well, I'm trying to find the next <laughs> place to put an adjective. Uh, oh wait, no, I, I meant pink and tight is one. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I didn't. I thought you meant like no, just that's that's, that's the, okay, okay, okay. The okay, single okay. adjective. I get it. I get it, Jake. <laughs> do you do you know who I f-ing am? <laughs> <laughs> Believe that. <laughs> I'm a popular podcaster. Uh. Okay, I need a person. Tim Allen. Uh, and I need a, a place. Uh, Home Depot. I need a action. Slobbing. Uh, Merry Christmas, guys. I need a noun. Um. Uh, we're gonna do um Sonic. Uh and another noun. Santa. <laughs> Cause they're <laughs> uh and then I need another adjective. Um You gotta fill the you gotta fill the space while I'm typing this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I got you. I think we're gonna <laughs> that's a good point. It's an audio show. Uh okay. You need an adjective? adjective. Uh yes, we're gonna sir. do um uh nasty. Nasty. Ooh. Bring her rubber gloves because it might get a little nasty, like that one song. Anyway. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, nasty. Okay. I need another adjective. Another adjective. Uh. Mm, sexy. Okay. Uh. I need so another bad. person. Uh. Gay Elon Musk. I like how you specified that he's gay. Yeah. Uh, and I need a uh, an animal. Uh, I'm gonna go with pecan. A uh, what's pecan? Uh, Toucan. My bad. There we go. P- pecan is a nut. That's right. That's true. Pecan is a nut. I need a place. <laughs> <laughs> I need like a actual like a city or something. Oh, like a, <laughs> the Home Depot. <laughs> well, no, the Home Depot is fine. I'm um, this one that needs to needs be to be like a city. A, uh, let's do. I mean, it could. I, I guess it could be a Home Depot. I mean, just whatever, just okay. a place. Uh, let's do Walmart. Man, <laughs> it's gonna be so bad. <laughs> uh, I need another noun. Um, another noun. Morty from Rick and Morty. Put all that in. Okay. Morty from Rick and Morty. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh. I'm gonna fill this one in. What do you mean? I just I I know a perfect word for this. Are you cheating? I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Go ahead. Okay, I'm just doing one. Okay, okay, it's fine. All right. Uh, and I need another noun. Uh, let's do pickle Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna work. What do you mean? Okay, what a uh, noun? Uh, what do you mean? Like a like. What should I do? I, I'm Give gonna, me. A- I'm gonna use pickle rig, just not in that place. Okay. Because it would sound. <laughs> it would be unfunny. <laughs> what should the noun be? Like like a place or like a uh, tree? A okay. tree branch. Pe- yeah, penis. That's, that's good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you ready? I need one more. Okay. Uh, I did use penis. Uh, I need. Just, I just need one more. It's like a. Oh. Okay. I don't know what to say but, but like a value like good or bad okay uh um horny <laughs> good or bad <laughs> okay alright man alright you read it you got Here that narrator voice reveal here we go right. dear Welcome. Santa I have been a very pink and tuck I have had a very pink and tuck Christmas this year I always help my Tim Allen with chores around the Home Depot <laughs> It is my job to slot the Sonic and take out the Santa every day. 
Uh, I really hope that I'm on the nasty list next year. Uh, I have done a lot of sexy things, so I think I deserve it. I even helped gay Elon Musk feed their two camel on vacation in Walmart. I just have a few wishes this year, and I would love to see a new Morty from Rick and Morty under the tree with my name on it. It would make me the happiest jet on the tree <laughs> Oh, and if you could put a pickle rick inside of my stocking, that would be very horny too. Merry penis. <laughs> Let's go. Man. That was good. Man. Man. <laughs> we did it. I hope to be on the, the nasty list. I love how I picked an N word for the. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> I'm glad, like, naughty, nice, and nasty. Dude, can that be the name of our Christmas song? Naughty, nice, and nasty. Uh, small, nice, and bratty. <laughs> I don't know if we're meant for this podcast. Man. Through. It's still recording. Still recording? What are we at? <laughs> and now in... in, in <laughs> in spirit of Christmas, we're gonna lift him from his <laughs> from his shingles. <laughs> shingles, that's a shingles. That's a that's a disease. Don't worry, about it. my dad had that. You're gonna look at look at Santa. That's San, Santa Claus. This is da, 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 Santa, da, da, Santa, Santa, Santa Claus. Da, 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 da. Oh my god! Oh my god! Santa! Santa! <laughs> He's dead. For audio listeners, his legs fell off. <laughs> Yeah, for audio listeners, he was on the ground originally. <laughs> he was down on the ground. Sonic yeah, was for audio listeners, a- we had a Santa. <laughs> Sonic. We had a Santa, life-size Santa. He was <laughs> laying on the ground, yeah. face down. Sonic was taking him from behind. And then <laughs> we lifted him up. And then his leg... Well, Sonic, Sonic, Sonic fell on the ground, he's fine. He's still over it. But Santa's it a- legs fell off. Yeah. And now he's... Uh, now he's the, a podcast. The, top, the torso up. He's sitting in Jake's seat. And Welcome to the Santa interview, where you get to interview Santa. What would you like to ask Santa? I'm doing Santa's okay. voice. I'm sorry. Go ahead, ask him some questions. Uh, uh, Santa, why do you have kids sit on your lap every year? Do you, are you? Am I doing it? Or are you doing it? <laughs> you have to do it. Bro. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. I'm what? Yeah, I was asking Syndica, why would I be doing the same thing? Uh, I like little boys. They make me happy. It's the only thing that brings me joy in life. Santa Claus, don't go to prison. That's, you know, you don't. I like people to, that like little boys don't do well in prison. I like to mess with the little jits. Shit. <laughs> Man. I think I'm an old geezer. <laughs> I ain't going in alive. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Santa, what? Santa, you can't say that. You can't say those words. I, oh, I know a couple words I can say. <laughs> Santa, no, please. Here I go. <laughs> Take, Santa the- Take Santa out of the chair. We're going to say goodbye. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Santa, get the heck out of here! We, if for audio listeners, Jake threw the Santa. It, well, he, li- he lifted up his beard and said "Whoa," <laughs> and then he picked up Santa and threw him across the room. All right, we're back. We're back. We're back, baby. Are we? Baby's doing, got are back. We, baby, 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 baby. baby. Chili. All right. Are we doing anything? Else? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Well, Merry Christmas, guys. Happy Hanukkah. Yeah, Happy New Kwanzaa. Year. Happy New Year. Kwanzaa, I forget about that one. Yeah. Isn't Kwanzaa in What December? is that for? Kwanzaa's in December, right? I yeah. feel really insane. I just don't know what it was. And... I don't know what it's for. Hold on. I'm looking it up. We Kwanzaa, wish you a merry... Uh, week-long celebration held in the United States honors... Oh, it's African heritage. Oh, heck yeah. Uh, I didn't know that. Okay. Uh, it is... December... Tw- oh, it's December 26th to January 1st. Oh, so it's like so a Hanukkah ha- thing. Yeah, it's, it's like Hanukkah a few days after. Okay, shoot! I didn't had no clue. Wow. Do you want to? I guess we're celebrating. Do you want to do some trivia? Oh my gosh! <laughs> we're at an hour and twelve. <laughs> oh my oh, technically, we're at like an hour, pretty much. Man, okay. Oh, there's an official Kwanzaa website. 
Okay, okay. We're, gonna, we're gonna do Kwanzaa trivia. Okay, just, I just won't know anything. That's okay. You can guess. <laughs> uh, stupid. Am I right, guys? Who has the better lighting? Put it down in the comments. Who has the best lighting? You you set me up in this lighting, Jake. Who has who has the best lighting? <laughs> okay. Am I right, guys? This is my room. Okay. All right. The holiday of Kwanzaa was introduced in. This is a multiple. Uh, 1492. 1981, 1976, 1966, or 1956? 1976. Yeah, that was a reason. Did I get it right? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Is it going to show at the end? I guess. Which color candle symbolizes the future? Blue, red, black, or green? Blue. Okay. Which color symbolizes unity? White. Red, that's not an option. Jake, let me read the question first. Okay. Red, blue, green, or black? Black. Black? How's that a candle color? You can make wax. Why are you... Why is that... <laughs> Which color candle symboli symbolize... <laughs> <laughs> I won't look at you. Fine. Which color cam... Which color Campbell? <laughs> Cut. Shut up. Which color candle symbolizes the struggle out of slavery? Black, green, red, or blue? Green. Okay. I don't know. Which, uh, wait, is the object that holds the candles called a menorah? Yeah. That's what it's called for the Jewish thing. Is the day of the year, what day of the, oh, I just read that to you. We, I literally just said it started December 26th. Oh, well, uh, we know. Is Kwanzaa a religious holiday? No, from what I hear. How many days are in Kwanzaa? Six. That's not an option. <laughs> One, ten, eight, or seven. Seven. Everyone is allowed to celebrate Kwanzaa. So yes or no? I hope so. Submit my answers. What are we gonna? It's like zero percent. <laughs> what you doing? Bro? Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we got a couple right. Kwanzaa actually started in 1966, not 76. Wow. Okay. Uh. Green symbolizes unity. Or sorry, green symbolizes the future. Uh, it was not blue. Dang it. Uh, there are three green candles on the menorah. Which color symbolizes unity, which was black. There's one black candle. Wait, I got it right? Nice. Yeah, you got it right. Uh, symbolizes the struggle out of slavery was red. There are three red candles. I guess it would be like symbolizing blood, maybe. Hmm. I guess I don't know what green has to do with anything, so it's fair. Uh, and the object... Uh, well, that doesn't give me an answer. It says, we answered yes to the menorah as the object that mm -hmm. holds the candles. And they said no. A menorah is the item that holds the eight candles of Hanukkah, not the seven candles of Kwanzaa. Oh, well, that's probably well, where I got what it. What else would it... Like, you didn't tell me what it would be called, <laughs> stupid. Um, well, yeah, yeah. Everyone is welcome to celebrate this holiday. Let's go. We're celebrating it. There we go. Happy Kwanzaa. Everybody. I can post to Facebook. I scored six out of ten on the quiz. Happy Kwanzaa. How well can you do? Put that on the Facebook. Check out our Facebook, guys. We have a, oh, I forgot do we have Facebook. a Facebook? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, that's probably my job. Oops. Uh, well, I don't... I, I don't you, do, you do so much. Okay. Uh, well, shoot, man. Well, we know a lot about Quino. We know more than half we about Quino. Learned that's true. It's not we bad. We have a good track record, good batting average. Am I right, guys? Whose we lighting so, is better? Put in the comments whose lighting is so better. So tired of doing this podcast already. First day back. It's real uh, tired. We are not funny. Still, we have not gained any. Never funniness. been funny. Um, right, do you have any final words, Jake? I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back chilies. How about you, man? Uh, what? Not really. I don't. I don't, I, don't <laughs> I don't think I have much. Anyway, all right. This was what? Did, I'll do the outro. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You can you can add something at the end if you really want. As always, this has been. Uh, your your two buds, your two best buds, Jit and Geezer. That's me. And I'm Jit. I'm Geezer. <laughs> <laughs> um, and All right. you know what? Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy, happy Hanukkah. New yeah. Year. Happy Hanukkah. Happy 
uh, whatever the uh, an agnostic holiday would be. Uh, Nothing. I guess they don't do much, do they? Well, I guess that you could still celebrate Christmas as an yeah, just like, as a as a present giving a, thing, just as a Santa thing. Sure. Well, Santa. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Well, Man. yeah, fun stuff. We're uh, in, uh, let's hope for be- fingers crossed for 2022. Am I right? Fingers crossed for 2022. Maybe next year Jake will actually celebrate Hanukkah. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Maybe he'll invite me over and we'll celebrate Han- Hanukkah together and we'll make it a podcast. Right? If we're doing this a year yeah. from now. What, bro? What? As always, it's been me, Mr. Geezer, and Jake, Mr. Jit. It's me. And we are heading out. Yeah, we got to do the thing. Remember? (laughs) (laughs) Can't forget. All right. You ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I got it. Do you want to? Do you want to start us off? You, I, I did the. Okay. And as always, it's me, Jit, and Geezer. So you can do this part. All right. And as always, we know. Start again. Go ahead. <clears throat> and as always, we, we know, know what, what you, you are, are and we, we know, know what you want. want. Death, Death to, to the, the boys. boys. Woo! That's a train wreck of an episode. Also, this is unrelated. I was thinking, <laughs> right? Yeah. Just, I was thinking in the car on the way over here, and I was going to ask you about it. Since... Like, okay, whenever the older generation dies off, and it's just, like, millennials and, like, Gen Z, and so millennials are in charge of everything, you know how, like, the, you know, like, the baby boomers and, like, the one above them, whatever that is, are in charge now, right? Of, like, they're they're the founders of the major companies and stuff like that. Mm Mm-hmm. Do you think whenever the millennials are in charge of the, of the movie industry, that one, the humor would get way worse, but two, do you think that we will generally progress to having shorter movies because our attention spans are not that long and like our, like Gen Z humor is so like fast paced and nonsensical that we can't string together a long, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Would that be something that would happen? Like, eventually, movies would get down to, like, 45 minutes, and, like, TV shows wouldn't be longer than 20. Wouldn't, like, the millennial, like, TV shows be like, don't talk to me till I've had my wine. Yeah. Like, well, that type of stuff. Are. Like, there are, there are some TV shows that are millennial here. Yeah, but I guess it'll now, like, encapsulate everything now. <laughs> just of it, that entire humor. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. being really... Uh, uh, he's right behind me, isn't he? Guys, you might want to come look at this. All right. What else is these? Death to the boys. Death to the boys. That we work. That we work. Look how we grow. How we grow. Now we can vote. Now we can vote. Death to the boys. Death to the boys. Now we are men. Now we are men. Put down your phone. Put down your phone. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. Slobbing on the knob, right? <laughs> he was like, oh!